The summer months have passed and the season of autumn is among us. And whilst searching for my autumn decorations the other day, I stumbled upon a dusty shoebox with all my linoleum carving materials. It's been about a year since I last carved a stamp, so I decided I would go ahead and make myself two new cottage core style stamps. First, I grabbed my sketchbook and drew lots of different ideas in pencil. Then I went ahead and outlined them in pen. I drew simple things like a teapot, some flowers, and a spool of thread. And once I'd picked my favorite drawings, I grabbed a piece of paper, preferably one that's been chewed on by my guinea pig, and traced onto it with pencil. Then it was time to begin the first stamp. To transfer the mushroom doodle onto the linoleum block, I pressed on the back of the drawing with another pencil. Take a look at how easily it transfers. Then I prepped my desk and my carving tools. I like to start by carving along the exterior of a stamp first in order to outline it. And once the outline is finished, I begin to carve out the little details, such as the spots on the mushroom cap and the gills underneath. To finish the stamp, I cut it from the linoleum block, and then I tidy up the edges a little bit. And now for my favorite part of the process, the first stamp. And here it is, the mushroom stamp is all finished. And now I hope you don't mind as I enjoy my afternoon tea with some homemade almond biscotti. Feeling refreshed, I'm now ready to work on the second stamp. And just like with the last stamp, I started by transferring the image onto the block. And then I began the carving once again. When I first took up linoleum carving in school many years ago, I learned one very important lesson. In order to make a piece that you're happy with, you need to work slowly and be patient. Carving is a relaxing form of art and I love it for that exact reason. Et voila, my two new hand-carved linoleum stamps. A bit whimsical and a bit vintagey, and ready to be used to decorate gifts and handwritten letters. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to check out my website and Instagram linked below, and I'll see you in my next video.